Hello there, my name is Mitchell T. Palmer. You know my name, damn it. Today I want to talk to you about shampoo types. Now, in a previous video we talked about frequency. How often should you shampoo your hair? And we discussed whether or not I'm guilty of shampooing my hair too much. If you want to watch that video, go look for it. It's about shampooing and frequency. How often should you shampoo? Oh wait, you're not even looking. You're not looking, are you? Just, okay, well, whatever. Finish watching this video and then move on to the how frequently should you use the shampoo we're about to talk about. Now, we shampoo our hair on mostly a daily basis. This is maybe problematic. You're gonna have to look at that next video or the previous video to find out. Today, what I wanna discuss with you, however, is the types of shampoos we're using. Shampoos, conditioners, whether you should use conditioner, and I'm gonna say this once and not repeat myself, men are horrible at, sh at conditioning our hair after shampooing. We just don't do it as much. Our wives, our girlfriends, our significant others that are of the female variety, they know better and they use conditioner almost all the time. But let's move on to shampoos and types. Now there are drugstore quality shampoos. There are same kind of stuff you'd buy in a grocery store as well. There are also professional grade shampoos and conditioners. Now, the one thing that we talk about quite often is the cost. The cost associated with buying these expensive professional grade shampoos. Well, I'm here to tell you that generic shampoos or knockoff brand shampoos don't blather as well in hard water. And while it is true that some of the drugstores and grocery stores you buy your shampoo from sell what we think are brand names, there are a few tricks that come up when people buy these products with a popular brand name on them. Sometimes a company that we know well as being an expensive professional grade shampoo will have a division of their company that sells to drugstores and grocery stores as well as a division of their company that sells to the lawns and higher end barber shops. They sell professional grade. The difference is inside the bottle. The ingredients that they use in the drugstore and grocery store grade of shampoo and conditioner are cheaper ingredients. But because they have different divisions of their company, they can tell you that the you're still buying that brand name that you think you're getting a deal on. Another common thing that happens when it comes to these brand names from a grocery store is that they're past their expiration date, plain and simple. Some of the other problems are things such as they use cheaper ingredients and the guarantee that ordinarily comes along with buying it from a licensed distributor who sells only professional grade shampoos and conditioners is null and void when you buy it from a grocery or a drugstore. So, plain and simple, these professional grade products are actually what they're cracked up to be. And while I don't, again, being, I guess, a hypocrite, use the professional grade shampoos all the time, I do, however, know that when I use a cheaper brand of shampoo, I use more shampoo because it doesn't lather as well in the hard water in my house. And I end up buying more shampoo and spending more money on that shampoo than I would. And wanting to wash my hair more frequently because these knockoff brands and these cheaper brands tend to make my hair feel dirty faster and or greasy or oily sooner. So it's up to you. You wanna spend a little extra money on a good professional grade shampoo, I'm all for it. What I suggest to you is that you become disciplined. You have a lot less hair than your wife, girlfriend, or significant other of the female variety. Look to how much shampoo she might use and realize that you have a lot less hair than she does in most cases. Use a lot less shampoo. You'll find that that expensive bottle of shampoo can last you several months, if not a year, in the same amount of time you're buying cheaper shampoo, 
multiple times. Once again, this has been a discussion about shampooing your head. Now I'm gonna backtrack to the scene that I didn't mean to show you earlier. Got these a little out of order, judge me not. Last tip is that when you rinse or shampoo and then rinse your hair, it is always better to do so with cooler water. It's nice to stand under a nice piping, steaming hot shower and let it rinse over your face and your head and your body. But for better hair and scalp health, cooler water is better for shampooing and rinsing. Again, my name is Mitchell T. Palmer. Well, you know my name, damn it. And this has been Beyond Barbering at Home Tips. I'll see you next time.